Hello, my friends. Jeff Yalden here. I have one question. Are you ready for some football? I love this time of year. Fantasy leagues, tailgating, yellow flags, painted faces, and big signs in the shapes of D and fence. People are wondering where their fence went. Josh Gordon, wide receiver for the Cleveland Browns, apparently isn't quite ready to participate with his teammates in training camp for the 2018 NFL season. He posted on Twitter that his absence is all part of his overall health and treatment plan. There's no mention of substance abuse and there's no mention of mental health or anxiety. So while I applaud Mr. Gordon for taking time for his health and I appreciate the Cleveland Browns for respecting Gordon's privacy and his overall well-being. I wonder why, at least officially. There's a mystery regarding Gordon's absence. For the most part, Flash Gordon's fans have been kind on Twitter. Football, after all, my friends, it's just a game. There are, of course, a few derogatory comments, such as, Mikey, is it that hard for this dude to just not get high? Overlooking the split infinitive, it seems much more socially acceptable even when highlighting someone else's flaws to point out a history of substance abuse over any kind of mental health issue. There's got to be a tangible reason, right? John Smith, he follows up with, Yup, this tells me he's dirty and needs time to clean up. You guys seem like you know what you're talking about. Considering the absence of any concrete reason, Perhaps Mr. Gordon is suffering from anxiety about this upcoming season. I mean, the Browns haven't won a game since December of 2015. Yeah, that has to cause anxiety for any member of the Browns franchise or fan base. I'm not even a fan and I have anxiety over it. I assume that Nate disagrees with me and what I'm saying regarding Gordon's absence from training camp Hobson tweets, don't be stupid, read between the lines. He's getting ahead of the story that's about to come out. Maybe so. My friends, it's no secret that Josh Gordon has dabbled in a multitude of substances including cocaine, alcohol, and marijuana. In JG, the mini documentary on Uninterrupted, he was asked why he was willing to speak up publicly. I'm able to give this message for you to learn from my mistakes, Gordon said. And he goes on to explain that because of his ability, he was often given second chances he might not have deserved. For example, when Josh Gordon played for the Baylor Bears, he was aided by a coach who provided detox drinks before he was drug tested. To Gordon's credit, when the producer asked if he failed the drug test because the coach didn't come by with the detox drinks that time, Josh Gordon replied, I failed the drug test because I was getting high. There's the truth, Mr. Gordon, and thank you. Gordon admits that his first experience with rehab seemed more like a publicity stunt. He spent roughly two weeks eating a bunch of good gourmet meals during which he took a little break and then went on to lead the league in receiving yards for the 2013 NFL season. But in July of 2014, Gordon got a DUI and was suspended for one year. His suspension was reduced to 10 games thanks to changes in the NFL drug policy. In reality, he only missed five games, but his unlimited second chance passes, well, they ran out. He was successfully suspended for the entire 2015 NFL season due to his most recent violation of the league's substance abuse policy. He applied for, and my friends was denied, reinstatement for the 2016 season for the same reason. So why? Why would someone with great talent and so much promise sabotage his life in this way? Today's headlines regarding Josh Gordon read, Brown's wide receiver Josh Gordon is dealing with mental health 
and anxiety issues. Unnamed league sources told ESPN's Adam Schefter that Gordon abused substances such as marijuana and alcohol to deal with anxiety, which is a common form of self-medication. In fact, according to the Journal of the American Medical Association, approximately 50% of individuals with severe mental disorders are affected by substance abuse. <clears throat> coping skills and problem-solving skills, my friends. Josh Gordon has already spoken up publicly about his issues with substance abuse. I do hope that Josh Gordon is willing to do the same in regards to anxiety and mental health. There's a stigma surrounding mental health and it needs to be shattered and Josh Gordon, you have a responsibility and I would appreciate if you take that seriously. My friends, all too often those who suffer from anxiety or PTSD or depression, OCD, bipolar disorder, or anything else are resistant to speak up to garner more awareness or to reach out for help. How many people might avoid making a forever decision of suicide if they were able to reach out and understand that they were not alone? How many people might even benefit from being able to speak up without being ridiculed for doing so? I challenge celebrities and professional athletes and all people, as well as all of us, to speak up about our troubles and to reach out to the resources that are available to us in this modern era. Good luck to you, Mr. Josh Gordon, and I not only hope you remain healthy and stable, but I also hope you are brave enough to speak up about what it is that ails you. And of course, I hope that the Browns win at least one game this season. I just hope that it's not against, well, I hope you win a game, but I'm a Patriots fan. My friends, this is Jeff Yaldon, the Jeff Yaldon Foundation, jeffyaldonfoundation.com. Thank you very much.